today, guys. Al from Auto One Browns Plains here. Yeah, and Matt here, Auto One Browns Plains. How's your week been? Um, let us know if you can hear us. Yes. We've got the mic set up, so uh, we'll try and keep them close to our mouth so you can hear yep. us good. But uh, give us the feedback so we know what's going on. Yep. Um, we're watching your comments. Um, so if you have anything that you want to uh, you want to ask us, go nuts. Feel free. That's what we're here for. And uh, otherwise, we've got a few things that we want yeah. to talk about. Yeah. So uh, we'll start with uh, the usual, hot or not, this week. So um, I hold it up, and Matt can probably run it up to the camera in a sec. Yep. So this week we've got a, um, a Honda, what they call a Honda Bridge line. It's um, it's like a, a Honda, which they've turned into a Ute. Um, yeah, so I'm not a real fan of it. I mean, if you cover the front half of the car, it sort of looks tough as a Ute. Like, um, it's got a bit of stance, but if you cover the other half, like, you just, yeah, it just looks cheap and nasty. So especially with these um, grey coloured flares, it just sort of... That's it, Dan. Had they colour-coded it with black, I reckon it might have been all right, but I'd let Matt run it up to you and uh, see what you guys think. But for me, it's, it's, it's a no. Let us know in the comments what you think, guys. Yeah. So what do you, what I, do I believe it's an Amer American <clears throat> uh, model, and uh, we were just joking before, it looks like a CRV with a yeah, uh, tub, a tub put, put in the back, but <laughs> yeah. they, they really they went to no effort to really make the, you know, put a bit of shape yeah. and, and a bit of stance at the rear, uh, and that, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that one, the uh, the flares on there, if they were colour-coded properly. Colour-coded or dark yeah, colour. A bit black. of improvement, the front yeah. kind of looks good, but uh, I'm, I'm, they're, they're, they're a better looking utes out there for sure, so yeah. uh, definitely a not from us, and we've got a comment, this was on our Instagram page, and we got a comment from... Uh, uh, Lockie uh, saying real question mark so <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. take that as uh, as a no. Uh, no. So, uh, yep, thumbs the, uh, down this week. Yeah. On the ridge line. That's a yeah. that's a no. So yeah. let's get that one out of here. All right. <laughs> Moving on. We got a few questions. Let's see. All right. Uh, Aiden. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing you're saying hey Matt and Al there. G'day guys. Yep, yep, yep. G'day Aiden. How are you going? Um, how are you guys going? Yeah, yeah was, going good. Yeah. Going quite good, yeah. Been, been busy, <coughs> we've been running around, but yeah. um, getting, getting things done, which is good. And yeah. um, we, uh, you were away last week, yeah, so last uh, week. Yeah, we, had, we, week we had another video sort of come out. Yeah, yep. And uh, Al's back, and we're yep. ready to do a video, That's so it. yeah, no, we're, we're feeling good. Yep. We're feeling good. H how are you going, Aiden? Yeah, Phone update for Andrew Gray, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you still haven't done it yet. Hang it off till the uh, new uh, uh, Samsung comes out, I think. Oh, okay. Think All right. so. New Samsung. When's uh, the Samsung coming out? Don't know yet. Don't know. I think I'll hang You're not impressed by the new iPhone? Nah, not, not yet. Not big enough? Uh, nah, I love filming videos and when I go camping. Yeah, before, yeah. I like filming and videoing. So for me, it's phone quality, like camera quality. Camera so, quality, yeah, yeah. yeah. So my mum's just got the uh, iPhone, but... Yep. I, the quality is just not up to scratch. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good phones, don't get me wrong, but just not up to scratch. So. Yep, yep. So I think I'll hang it off for of photo quality. So. There you go. All right, yep. well, you heard it here first. Uh, all right, uh, another, here we go, some more feedback. Uh, so, Andrew, there's your phone update, mate. Uh, Al's hanging off. And uh, so some of the some of the words coming back on the iPhones, people saying not, not big enough upgrade on the iPhone. So, yeah. come on, Apple fans, jump on, defend your phone. Tell us uh, good, why the uh, good, iPhone they're, they're, 13's good. They're good phones, but don't yeah. get wrong. So I'm not bagging them. They're good yeah, phones yeah, yeah. in what they are, but just for me, it's, it's photo quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. had a good experience with yeah. the Samsungs, yeah. Uh, all right, so what do we got? Uh, hi, guys, from uh, Glenn. G'day, Glenn. Yeah. How are you? Uh, uh, Aiden said he's going great, uh, going camping, big rigging and yes. four wheel drive. Yes, yes, something like that. Have you been there, Al? Yes, yes. Yep. Nice place, yeah. Nice place, yep, yeah. cool. All right. Well, that sounds good, Aiden. No, I'm sure you have a great time up there. I've, I've heard about it, I've heard yeah. things about it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sarah, Sarah, say hey. Great. Hey, Sarah, how are you going? <laughs> uh, all right, well, on to the next thing. So, uh, we've got some news. Mm. I was, I was, I got it all here, and I was going to cover it up and get Al to guess uh, <laughs> what the, the top-selling car was for last month, September. Um, but it's right in front of us. Yeah. So um, apparently, it's changed. Apparently, it, it had always been the Toyota Hilux for some time. Yep. But Toyota running into production difficulties, so we've got a new leader, best-selling car in Australia for uh, for September was the Ford Ranger. 
4,192 of them. 4,000, that's a lot of rangers mm -hmm. out there. So uh, shout out to all the ranger owners out there. How are we going, guys? You're, you're number one again, so uh, congratulations. Yeah, Hotlux wasn't far behind. There were 3,635. Yep, yep and the, yeah, uh, then yeah. the, the Corolla, followed by the RAV4, oh. i30, the D-Max, Camry, then the Cruisers, and the A6. Got to yeah. give it to the the, the D Max, you know. That's yeah. uh, punching above its weight, you know. You got all those big name <coughs> brands like Ford, Toyota, Hyundai. I think the thing with the other cars, it's a shortage of them coming. That's, that's yeah, what it yeah. is. Yep. They're, they're all pre-sold, but just yep. Till they release them. Waiting for them to turn up. Yeah, turn up and release. Yeah. yeah. So because yeah, well, I know I know a few people who bought them, but they're just waiting for them. Yep. Still, so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Four months just pumping them out the doors. So uh, any of our watchers waiting for a car to come through or any experiences like that, um, share them with us. Um, we well, reckon Ford Ranger's going to stay up there again for another month. <laughs> um, I, I think if uh, I think they're 3,000 units behind for the financial year so far. Yep. So if they have a few more months like this, they might overtake Hilux for the year. Yep. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Wayne said howdy. How, howdy, Wayne. Yeah, how Wayne. you going? Uh, Lee... Ford Ranger, Lee, <laughs> Lee Scott, Ford Ranger fan. G'day, Lee, how are you, mate? Um, Wayne, hey, Matt, uh, did you win NRL tipping? Oh, <coughs> yeah, thanks, Wayne. Um, watch this space. Yeah, I, I didn't coming. win, but we're, we're, we've saved it for last, and, Wayne, we're going to announce the winners, so uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to that one. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris has said, uh, the new i30N line sedan looks dope. Uh, mm. But they want forty grand for it, so yeah. it's just a uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The ends a cool car. Yeah, nice cars. They, um, yeah. The, the the sedan's got a real nice swooping back end yeah. to it. it. Look, it reminds me of an RSC, an <clears throat> RS3, and I, I think people probably give me a hard time for saying yeah. that, but I think I think it it looks good and with pops it sounds good. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, you know, paying a bit for it. Yeah, that's not the Yaris too. Still, Yaris is awesome. They're new, they're, they're nice cars, but a bit of a price yeah. for a little car. For a little, yeah, 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 that's right, yeah, people think that. Um, but uh, I heard, and this might be in the States, I'm not sure if it's right in Australia, but they're coming out with an automatic N-Line i30. So, oh, okay. Um, it was always meant to be manual, and they mm -hmm. were claiming to be the purest car out there. Yeah. Um, but there's an auto out there, so. Oh, okay. There you go, it's on its way if it's not here already. Um... What else have we got? Uh, Karen said, hey, hey boys, hey Karen, Great. how are we going? G'day to Karen and Eric. Uh, Jamie, uh, Jamie said, hi boys. Great. Hey Jamie, thanks for popping by today, mate. Um, all right, Chris is saying uh, you got stuck be behind one at Red Roost of 20 minutes and it looks awesome. So I'm guessing you're talking about the, uh, the uh, i30N yep. um, and uh, yeah, with you there, Chris, they do look good. Cool. Oh, we'll you. skip over that yeah, one. Yep. 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 It's more of the same. Oh, I should have the, um, yeah, okay, so another news story that's come out in the last week is um, there's been a barn find. So someone in Victoria found, and I'm not sure how well you can see this, but they found that car there, which turned out to be uh, Colin McRae's old rally car prepared by ProDrive. So, uh, you know, an old, old clanged out WRX, what do you reckon they're worth? And mm -hmm. they're saying, you know, may, maybe uh, maybe you get 15K for them or something like that. But no, not this one. This one, they sold for... Half a million dollars. Half a mil. In or, Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> they've worked it out. Uh, it probably changes every, every minute. Um, but that's 8.27 Bitcoin. So someone there bought Bitcoins like a million years ago. Yep. And uh, they bought them, bought them for nothing, and uh, it's actually worth something now. And now they got themselves a, a um, Colin McRae rally, rally car. WRX. Yeah, and it's cleaned up pretty nice. Compared, yeah. you know. uh, let's have a look. Uh, a Forrester update. You're picking on us, Andrew. You're asking for a Forrester update. We've got nothing as yet. Um, seven speed auto. Okay, yeah, Chris has corrected me on the uh, I i30N with the auto, seven speed auto. So seven speed should should get through yeah. pretty swiftly. Should knock off a few Integra Type Rs. Um, he's, he's done a bit of research for us. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. You can be our researcher. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's the news. So we put up a post this morning, and we touched on this last last yeah. week. Oh, was this morning? Or, yeah, yeah this morning. Last night or this morning. I was just morning. Yeah. Um, what <laughs> tools do you carry in your car? So what what's a tool that you can't live without, or something you found useful? 
you recommend other people carry in their car. So we got a few uh, responses uh, on, on our Facebook. So if you go a bit further below this video, you'll see this post and uh, you'll be able to see um, oh, there's uh, some, uh, some interesting ones there. So some, um, I'm guessing that's like a 100 mile an hour tape or, uh, yep. yep. So, yep, uh, right, we'll yep. or could it be uh, even radio? You can get that um, self amalgamating mm. ra radiator which, tape as well, SOS tape, yeah, I think they call it. Yourself, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's stuff. Um, if you have a burst hose or something like that, you can wrap it up like that and get to the next stop. So, um, that's that's a good one. Um, but, guys, as, as we're talking, if you come up with any more ideas of uh, tools to carry in your car, yep. just post Pop them below. down below. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so uh, other recommendations. Socket, spanner, screwdriver <laughs> sets, impact gun, and selection of wiring tools. So um, yeah, they, they're, they're, they'll definitely keep you going. So that's yep. a great um, example there from Nathan. Yep. Um, Patricia? Yeah, so it sounds like one for the old school cars, nail fall. Nail fall, For, for yeah. your contacts and yeah, that's all your, your old contact points and that, yeah. Yep, yep. Nail fall, <laughs> that's perfect for that. Um, all right, what else Lane, we got? a patrol, so everything. <laughs> So uh, Lane's come out and said, oh, I own a patrol, so everything. Carry the whole toolkit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, ben, here we go. <coughs> Barco folding kit in case they're cut and half to stack on top of each other. In the drawer, so most of the tools fall. Oh, okay, yep, yep. So yeah. a, bit of a, a bit of a kit a bit of a kit. sort yep. of uh, condenses down, yep. so you've got everything, so that's uh, good. Socket set, spanners, pliers, screwdrivers, etc. Yep. yep, that's yep. good. Uh, and uh, Mandy said uh, tow, tow rope, rope and, and, hockey and hockey straps. There you go. Yeah. So uh, some good suggestions there. We've got some suggestions of yeah. our own. So I carry in my car a fold away shovel. So it folds down, it's a fold away shovel. Um, you can use a fire, fire blanket or a fire extinguisher as well. And that's because they would some, um... Yeah, so, uh... Jump starter's pretty pro good pro as well. Probably the thing that I really have used and has got me out of the poo uh, the most would be a jump starter. And this is the one that I use. It's, it's uh, the top that we carry in, the, in this store in the SJS range, the second top in the SJS range, overall but it can start a 4.2 litre diesel or a 7 litre petrol and uh, this this uh, jump starting battery lithium jump starting battery is fantastic saved me a couple of times and uh, you know you can be at a car park and maybe someone, someone else will have their bonnet I remember up. the time you come back from the airport yeah. and you park your car oh, in the airport yeah, yeah, yeah. Yourself. the skyline, I, had the yeah, skyline. I was stuck and this thing saved me there <laughs> Um, I've been in car parks and shopping centres, someone's got their bonnet up and it's like, all right, well, I'm wearing the Auto One uniform, I might as well give it a crack and try and get it home. And, yep. and uh, yeah, well, half the time, uh, this is the thing that gets us out of the, out of the poo, so it's, uh, it's a good one. And, and I, might, I might go through and try and throw some links up for you. So uh, while I do that, Al might show you a little bit more of uh, what he's got. But um, this is just another one, this is a self-adjusting spanner. I've got it in the car, I've never used it, and my expectation is that when I go to use it, it'll probably fall apart because they, they don't feel too tough, but they're there and they do any size, so that's that. And this is, this is one that I've just found in the store, which I thought was funny. It's a shifter that's a hammer. So it's a hammer shifter. Um, so I reckon that one... Uh, Come on, Andy. Yeah, yeah if it's not working, you can hit yeah. it, so that's always a good thing. Um, do, yeah. do you want to um, yeah. show the function of the shovel? And I'll quickly yeah, throw up so, some links there. Yeah. What for when you're camping in this thing? Comes in a nice carry bag. Nice carry bag. Folds away. So you're all done. Good for good for camping. You can sand from running tires out. It's got serrated edges. Good for chopping trees and stuff. So folds away nice, nice and strong construction. I keep one in my car. And the other one you were saying, which we don't have here to show, but uh, like a foresting. Yeah, I, I keep the foresting in my car as well. <clears throat> folds away nicely. That's got a little uh, strap in the back. 
I just, I, I, I just, um, <coughs> I just zip tied them back of my cargo bag and all that. So when I open my window, just open up and grab it out. And these just stay zip tied on the back of my um, cargo barrier. So I've got a few bags of which I zip tied on the back of the cargo barrier. So it's always nice and neat like that. Everything's got a home when you finish. Yeah. Yeah, they're a good, good little package there, aren't they? They're nice yeah. and small, but you can do a lot with them. So yeah, same with, same with the flight extension in my cars. I'll keep a couple in my car, one in the front, one in the back, and like I said, on the back of the cargo barrier, I've just mounted it to the cargo barrier, so it's got a home there. Um, I've actually used one a couple of times before, so it's got me out of trouble. Uh, fire blankets is as good as well too, so it's good if you've got a caravan or camper trailer as well. Great for that. So yeah, a couple of little goodies. I've, I've thrown up some links, so I've thrown the Mean Mother sho Shovel link, so you can, you can buy these right now and, and do click and collect, we've got them here. Um, I've got the uh, model below uh, this one that I use, um, and I've got that one there, I've thrown that, that's another click and collectible one. Uh, and I couldn't find this shifter on the website, so it might not be up yet, but I, I did another shifter as well, so they're all handy things, and um, I'm sure there are plenty more, so let's see what the comments are. All right, so uh, do, 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 do. And Jamie said, "Thanks for your expert advice." So Jamie asked me, "Oh, I'm, I'm after some advice." <laughs> I said, "I'm not sure how helpful I'm going to be, but I'll give it a go." Um, so you know, no, that's good. Thank you. Uh, cable ties. Yes. Yeah, Andrew, great suggestion. Yep. Such, such yep. a such a good one. Cable ties um, are all. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're fantastic. You can build a car out of cable ties. Cable ties and uh, 100 mile hour tape, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it. Uh, bottle of pepper. Okay, Jamie, tell us, what, what do you use the bottle of pepper for? I think they put it in a cool. Yeah, it's for, uh, for filling things up. Uh, okay, so four-wheel drive sump plug tool. Okay, yep, yep, so four-wheel drive sump plug tool. It's always good to be able to pop it off. Uh, here we go, okay, Jamie's... Um, or you jumped ahead, drop the pepper into your radiator yep. and it seals up links till you can get, get fi fix it up properly. Wow, there you go. I've heard of that one before. Oh, I've not. Yeah. There you go, Jamie, you're full, full of great advice there, mate. Yeah. Um, Jamie gave us the advice, uh, this was about a month ago before Father's Day. Yep. Um, you know, what, what's, uh, what's something your dad taught you um, about, you know, working on cars. Yep. And uh, just get the screwdriver and uh, one yep. end just to the ear. And another, yeah, 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 and use it like a stethoscope and uh, put, pop it on the engine. So that was, that was another yeah, good one. Thanks, yeah. Jamie. Uh, Rod's, Rod's on there. G'day, Rod. How are you going? Great. Hey mate. Uh, all right. What else? Uh, Chris. Chris has said something here. Do we have uh, much of a range of digital tire pressure gauges? Um, I've actually in in my kit I've got the King Chrome uh, digital tire pressure gauge. Yep. Any I'm sure others? We, I'm sure we have a couple down there as well. Yeah. Yeah. I might. I might. Um, I might try and find it, and I'll pop a link up for you, Chris. Another thing I came across in the store, which didn't have any left, but I was well, I don't know what I've shown you. Um, <clears throat> we have some of these um, good good for your wiring, good for your wiring and your electrical um, to join your wires. It's like a it's like a sleeve. You, you put them in a sleeve, like, like a crimp on. But um, you put it in together and you get the, the lighter on it. You heat it up. The solder melts and joins the wire together. We had a little kit there with all different sizes. They were pretty good as well. Handy to throw in the kit, in the kit as well. So. Maybe when we get more next week, I'll probably show you, show you the kit. Yeah, do a bit of a rundown. Yeah, down, rundown, yeah. On it, yeah. It's not a nice little kit. It comes in a nice little box. Push your push wire in one side, push your wire in the other side. Put your heat, um, put your light under it. It's heat strings it down and melts the solder. The solder joins the two wires together. Um, I've thrown a link. Uh, there's a slime branded uh, digital tire gauge. Uh, the one that I've got and uh, I've been using is the King Chrome one. So I'll see if I can find that one. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Digital smart tire gauge, and it'll um, it'll remember the pressure from each corner. Um, so that's that's handy. Um, it's got a little light in it. Uh, so that's one I've, I've uh, got myself, and I've I've liked that one. So I'll chuck that one up there. A link for that one as well. 
and that's that's a product that we normally carry. So uh, I know I know we sold out of them uh, last month. Uh, so hopefully they're back in stock. But I don't have that in front of me whether it's in stock or not. Um, but it, we do normally intend on carrying that one. So uh, Chris uh, Chris has said uh, heat heat shrink wrap always handy. Yeah. So yep. that, that's, uh, that's another one and, yep. and similar to um, yeah, the one you're time. talking about with a little bit of solder <coughs> yeah. in it as well. Yeah, they're yep. both handy. Yep. Um, Mean Mother do a uh, digital one as well, Lee, Lee yeah. tells me, so I'll have yeah, to... Yeah. Um, I want to say the Mean Mother one. Yep. Mean Mother. And that really, if you're full driving, that's a must-have, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just keep it on the bridges. Especially pumping them up too. Here we go. Digital tire deflator kit. Here we go. Um, all right, we've got this one in front of us. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. We've, um, we, we definitely have these. I, I saw them just moments ago before we started this video. Uh, this one here, it's got. Is that a valve remover yeah, as well? Yeah, valve remover tool. Yep. Um, so yeah, you, you might want to tell us why you use those. So yeah, you drop. Use them for dropping your tire pressure down. So <clears throat> because you car on 40 psi, you got a small footprint. When you deflate your tire, your tire goes wider so you got a bigger footprint so yes so yep. that sense of getting bogged yeah so yeah that's a tight pressure uh, tight flatter and, and pressure yeah there you go so i've thrown some links down there um and uh yeah you can you can ha have a look at those products <coughs> so they're all they're all good ones uh, okay all right oh have you got any newlon race oils um yes we do i can see them from here in their uh in their metal tins um, and uh, don't fail me now, eyes. Um, they are, we've got, uh, looks, is that 020, 530, 10, no, 540, 1060. Oh, jeez. I can <laughs> kind of see it because it's top shelf gear. Um, but yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, four different uh, ones there. So yeah, we've got, got plenty of their race oils. Um, yep, good, good oils there, uh, Brad. So. Uh, you're on the good stuff there, and um, I'm not sure if you've ever seen the Newlon race oils, but they have a, have a service that goes with it, and yep. uh, you get you you buy a test tube, and you can buy it from them or through their website. So you get the oil from us, you get the test tube, you follow the link that's on the oil, and then uh, you order the test tube, um, and then when you change your oil next time, you get a sample, you send it off to, to them to the lab, and their lab breaks it all down they work out what metals are getting caught up in your oil and from there they can or if it's uh, metal it could be water yeah. it could it could be other things like that um, sort of condition your engine work out what's yeah. going on with the engine then they can give you um advice on you know if you if you're doing something uh what can you do to prevent it from happening next time and all that sort of stuff yeah. so it's a great service so uh yeah if you may, maybe we we uh do a little example yeah um, I did it with my Skyline and uh, it actually it, it showed that uh, a little bit of water was getting in and I, I had a small um, crack in my tank um, and uh, it was just some condensation getting in there so uh, that, that, that was good to identify that, yep. um, went out and got another tank for it and got it all sorted so that was a, that was a good one. Uh, Alright so um, on to the, uh, the tipping comp. So we finished uh, the the grand final, South Perth versus uh, Panthers. Panthers, and it was down first and second place. I was second place on the same amount of points, but my four and against was rubbish. So I had to go a roughy, and uh, it didn't work out for me. So congratulations to Kirk G. Um, yeah, Kirk, Kirk <clears throat> G. He came first, so he wins the seat covers. Uh, I came second, so I get the floor mats, and what I do is if, if I win something, I'll throw it in as last place prize for next year. So, guys, keep an eye out on our Facebook page. We're going to announce the next tipping comp um, for the NRL next year sometime. So get on board. It's going to be a cracker. Yep. Uh, third is Mitchell. Um, Mitchell, uh, he came third on 146 points, and uh, he actually... He drew with Jessica okay. on 146 points, but his for and against was uh, about 40 points better than Jessica's. So uh, he just got away with it in the end. <laughs> so well done, Mitch. Mitch, I know Mitch is a massive NRL fan. He doesn't miss many games. He's even traveling to Townsville to watch some games. Um, and I know he's a Broncos fan at heart, but 
Mitch, come on in. Your prize are those headrest covers. You can choose your team, and same same with the other winners. You can choose your team. Um, and I'm going to try and talk you into getting Cowboys ones. <laughs> we're going to we're going to work you across from being a, a Broncos fan to a Cowboys fan. Come to the north. Come to the good side. <laughs> we'll win you over. And last last place was a, t- a tricky one between um, Kelvin and Neil. Yep. And um, Kelvin was before the final started. Kelvin was coming last. Uh, he, he undertook Neil, yep. and then Neil had a, had a shocker uh, during the finals, and uh, he ended up worst on nice 119 place. points, which means he wins the prize that I won last year, which was the seat covers. Yep. And uh, <laughs> you reckon I should let him choose which team, or you reckon I should choose it for him? I reckon let him choose it. Let him choose it? Okay, because I was, so. was going to choose like maybe Manly or something like <laughs> that for him, but no, we'll, we'll let, let him choose. So yeah. congratulations, guys. I'll hold this up just to give everyone a close look. Well done to everyone. It was very close. All right, so um, we'll round it up. Yep, that's it. So uh, thanks, guys. Um, appreciate you tuning in. Um, so yeah, thank you. And uh, if you have any more questions, pop them down. Um, when we get a chance, we'll go through them and uh, we'll answer them. Um, and uh, next week we might do a product video. Yep. We won't do a live one. We'll do a product one and post yep. it up. Uh, and then the week after, we'll do another live video. Yep, that's it. Yep. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for guys.